Open up the gate, let him out. You sure he's not ready? Go on, let him out. It's just a man, Peter. Only another man. <laughs> Hi, Cody. You're starring in a film that is so complicated, so complex. The situations, the characters, the, the heightened emotion of it all. Uh, and I mean, you absolutely nailed it. You're 25 years old. I, I just can't get over it. D tell me about absorbing it and doing it. Um, I mean, honestly, it, when I recollect it now, it's it's just been the gift that keeps on giving um, from the day that I met with Jane. Um, was privileged enough just to be in her presence and it was it was the most relaxing ideal audition i can ever think of really we just um we weren't attached to any script or any solidified scene it was really just improvising with peter and bringing him to life in the room and exploring him so i thought that was very free and um, also challenging in its own sense but um yeah, I mean, then it kicked into another gear when we went into the rehearsals and, and, you know, shooting. And, yeah, honestly, it just kept getting better and better. And, of course, here we, we find ourselves where it's received by the world and um, they experienced the passion that, that we did when reading yeah. the, in the script. Yeah, uh, just an astounding once-in-a-lifetime role. Well, I hope there are more like that for you, but honestly, I'm just blown away. You can watch it over and over again and learn and learn and learn. Um, and something that I appreciate so much about your performance is that Peter is, he has a plan, um, mm -hmm. a survival plan, uh, and it's, it's a slow burn. Mm -hmm. When we find out more about him, he's not what people have thought he is they thought he was soft and weak and effeminate he's anything but mm -hmm. tell me about playing that contrast because it is it's shocking I love it um it's the one thing that really attracted me of course outside of the the story and the characters but specifically looking at Peter is the one thing that attracted me to him and, and the challenge of kind of conveying that that mystery um that ambiguity uh, I thought it was a, a real challenge in the sense that you you have to be leaving enough hints um, for, for people that catch on, but also, you know, not revealing anything. Um, and I just love that idea of the initial judgment that everyone has on him, not only in the story, but of course in the audience. And, and for me as an intimate reader, the first time that I read it, I thought, man, I, you know, I feel sorry for this kid. He's naive. He's brittle. Um, and, and gullible. He just doesn't see what's coming for him. And you feel this sense of impending doom. And yet you should have felt it for that ticking time bomb, which is his mind. Um, that's so observant and really acts upon the moment in toward, in, you know, towards his goal. Yes, of course. And you make us complicit too. So thank you so much. You. What a joy, the film and your performance. Congratulations. Twenty-five years since our first run together. Nineteen hundred and nothing. It's a long time. What you doing? Getting mixed up with her. You are marvelous, Rose. We were married someday. Little lady made these. I did, sir. <laughs> well, Brother Phil? Open up the gate, let him out. You sure he's not ready? Go on, let him out. <laughs> Only another man. <laughs> A man was made by patience and the odds against him. For what kind of man would I be if I did not help my mother? Peter! If I did not save her. A 
lonesome place out here, Pete. Where's he getting the swing of things?